Let's see if I can get a perfect name. Oh, you saved my life. <laughs> There's one more right here, right here, right here. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Masha, bringing you guys another video. Guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking all about the Battle Pass for Season 3. Now, if you guys don't know what the Battle Pass is, it's basically how people unlock the Dark Knight in the game. Everyone basically knows what the Season Pass is is or the battle pass so i'm not going to cover that but in season three there are some huge things coming to season three you guys we're going to talk all about that today in today's video and you guys that are here that subscribe to the channel you guys are getting all this information before anyone else so you guys are going to have the knowledge to be able to spread to your friends so guys welcome to the channel but besides that let's get right into it so the battle pass for season three is going to have a hundred tiers now guys Keep in mind, Season 2 only had 75 tiers. This one's going to have 100 tiers. Now, that is a lot more tiers. And, of course, coming with more tiers comes more things like uh, outfits, pickaxes, on, emotes, man, man. Uh, gliders, back blings, and stuff like that. So, basically, we're going to cover all the things that came in Season 2 and what's going to come in Season 3. So, in Season 3, there's going to be six outfits. And in Season 2, there was only four. As you guys can see on screen, there's going to be the same amount of pickaxes, same amount of motocons, gliders everything's gonna be the same there's gonna be new back blings which this is something new in the game back blings could be anything from like a backpack or something like that that could mean that they're bringing backpacks to the game who knows um, there's gonna be skydiving FX trails which means you know you know how you have the white smoke or I don't know what to call it the little wind that's coming from your back when you're gliding through the air they're gonna have different smokes and stuff like that they're gonna have like colorful things and it's pretty cool man they're definitely adding a lot of new things to the games they're gonna have new loading screens so there's eight new loading screens there used to be zero it used to be one basic loading screen that we're all used to which is really cool they have banners 23 Three banners season two had 16 and emoticons they're gonna have 21 so in total there was only 46 things you can get in season two season three you're getting 76 things you guys there's so much new things coming to the game it's just gonna be insane to cover all the new things i'm glad this game is out man Honestly, this game listens to the community. Yes. Now, if you guys don't know, uh, here's a picture of what it's going to look like, the very first page of the Battle Pass. As you guys can see, on that picture, there's an astronaut in the first image. Now, a lot of people are like, wait, what? I know that there's an astronaut, but that, that makes no sense. But guys, if you don't know, Reddit posts a lot of stuff. And the thing about this game is they listen to the community. People on Reddit post things. People on, in the community ask things. For, like Ninja asked for the double pumps to be nerfed. And they're being nerfed. There's a whole bunch of people complaining about things. And the, the game developers actually listen to the people. They listen to the fans. The people playing the game. And they do these changes. Now on Reddit there was a sample picture of an astronaut. And this is what it looked like. So guys, on screen right now, somebody posted this just for fun as a sample that they could do within the game. And look, they're bringing it into Season 3. So I think the final thing that you can unlock in Season 3 is this awesome astronaut that you guys saw in the thumbnail. It's going to be sick. I mean, that's basically the theme of Season 3. Because if you guys don't know, Season 2 had a theme. It was like nights and stuff like that. And the disco theme and stuff like that. Because if you guys don't know, you got the male night at first that was basic and then you got the female knight which was basic as well and then later on they released a dark female knight that you can buy and then the very last one was the dark black knight that everyone wanted and everyone was hyped up about so in this game i think they're gonna have like i said they have six different outfits so they're gonna have astronaut type theme and they're also gonna have another theme within the season three pass um, but I have no clue what the other theme is going to be. I know that the first one's Astronauts. If you guys don't know, it's all over, man. Which is crazy, man. I, I love how they're doing so much for the game, man. If you guys... Oh, man, it's awesome. But besides that, we're going to talk about the Battle Pass on how you can purchase it. Now, you can buy it with 900 V-Bucks. Or you can buy the 2,800 V-Bucks version where you get the Battle Pass in 25 tiers. So you're going to start off with 25 tiers in the game dude which is insane you're already going to get free characters automatically from the start you're going to have new new emotes you're going to have new battle axes and stuff like that which is sick you already know your boy's going to buy the 2800 dollars v bucks not dollar but the 2800 v bucks one um and it includes access to the battle pass instantly unlocks your next 25 tiers all at 40 percent discount so you're getting it for a lot cheaper um like i said you can buy throughout the season you can buy your your levels without even having to do it but 
um, it costs a little bit more. So if you guys don't have the money for stuff like that, don't do it. Don't waste your money. I mean, save your money. Just play the game. The thing that's cool about this game is you can grind the game out and still unlock things that everyone else can unlock, which is really cool. Like the astronaut, everyone's going to have a chance to unlock it. All you got to do is buy the battle pass and it pays off because you're going to get V bucks back. Uh, basically 900 V bucks in return. So you're going to get your money back where you can buy another uh, outfit later on in the game which is really cool in my opinion now they're also changing another thing within the game it's called the weekly challenges now as you guys can see I'm gonna read on screen it says tear up even faster by completing the new weekly challenges each week a new set of seven challenges unlock replacing the season 2 battle pass daily challenges weekly challenges stack and can be completed anytime before the season ends so if you buy a pass mid season you'll still have access to all the previously weekly challenges you can complete for out of seven weekly challenges to unlock your rewards, so choose the challenges that best fit your style. So guys, these challenges are just basically, even if you buy the battle pass like they said later on down the road, you can still access the challenges from week one, week two, week three, which is cool because that way you can level it up as quick as everyone else did and you can try and catch up to everyone else. You don't have to feel like you're left behind and you're so far back that you're never going to be able to catch up. That's not true, which that's one thing they changed about it, which is really cool, man. I really enjoy this game man it, it, they've done a lot to the game um and they really listen to the community so guys if you guys love the game and love the developers for actually listening to the people give this video a thumbs up man i want to see how many likes we can get on this video just smash that like button destroy it just to show support for the game developers and to thank them for for doing this for us the community but guys hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said the space astronaut suit is coming out it's gonna look sick and i will see you guys in tomorrow's video Peace. Fuck! Yay!